You know how sometimes you just happen to know how a certain situation's just gonna play out and you really, even though you know it's gonna end badly, you just can't stop yourself from being involved in it? That's what this situation was. From the moment I seen the guy manhandling my burrito, I knew it could not be a good situation. Hey sightseers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any cool adventures. Now some of you already may know this about me. I am a bit of a germaphobe, which means I am not a big fan of going out to eat. Frankly, because I think a lot of kitchens these days don't live up to the germaphobe standards for sanitation. Now, if I had my way in the kitchen, you'd be sterilizing everything. I am a bit of a germaphobe. If you don't believe me, check out my video, A Germaphobe's Worst Nightmare. I get it. Not everyone is gonna be as freaky about kitchen sanitation as I am. However, when the food prepping standards are something out of an episode of Beavis and Butthead, you really gotta wonder, what kind of place is this? And really, my first clue should have been the fact that these burritos, these supposed homemade burritos, I may add, were being sold out of a gas station. Now I know what you're thinking, how could I possibly think that getting burritos from a gas station would even be a good idea. Simply, I was hungry. I had taken pork chops out to unthaw from the freezer and unfortunately they were still frozen. And you know pork chops, they can get kind of tough if you overcook them. And when I get hungry, I don't just get hungry, I get hangry. So rather than struggle with a pair of frozen pork chop, I thought it would be best to run up to the local gas station and try out these burritos. And this place had come highly recommended by someone. So I thought, why not? Dinner is kind of a bust because the pork chops I had taken out were still frozen. So why not try a burrito at a gas station? What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Now, I've worked in fast food joints back when I was in high school. I know what they're like. And I should just know better than to go to a place in a gas station. From the moment I seen the guy manhandling my burrito, I knew it could not be a good situation. I mean, really. How many times do you need to pick up a burrito off the grill and play with it? How many times? I mean, this guy just kept playing with my burrito. I'm like, could you finger it up some more? And in between his manhandling of my burrito, he's doing things like, And wiping his face and touching stuff and I'm like dude you're getting my burrito all germy I'm like dude wash your hands and quit touching my burrito is it really necessary I mean don't you have a spatula or something that you can use to flip it over not your bare hands and why are you walking around with it in your hands anyways while you're talking to the girl from the front counter? I mean, do you have a thing for burritos? Do you have a burrito fetish of some sort? What? I'm like completely puzzled by your obsession with that darn burrito. 
I don't know. I was just getting ready to say, you know what? Keep the burrito. I'm going down the road to the Jack in the Box. At least there I know I'm guaranteed to get some kind of food poisoning. Here, I don't know what I'm gonna get. And here's the thing. I had the opportunity to buy a burrito from a woman selling them out of the back of her car. Now, this must be something that happens typically at the swap meet on Saturday. There's a woman that comes down there and sells burritos out of the trunk of her car. And I'm thinking, the chances of me catching some sort of foodborne illness are probably a lot slimmer buying the burritos from the woman selling them out of her trunk than the guy at the burrito place at the gas station because at least I know that the woman's trunk is food grade temp because she has a black car and sitting in the hot desert sun, I'm guessing that trunk had to be at least 140 degrees, if not more. And granted, I didn't see her making the burritos, which totally alleviates the whole germaphobe factor. Whereas watching that dude make my burrito at the gas station was probably the worst thing I could have ever done. Here's the thing. It was so bad that I took that burrito home and heated it up in the microwave for over two minutes on high just to be sure that there wasn't going to be any germs. And even after that, I tell you what, that burrito wrecked havoc. That's all I'm gonna say about that. You don't need to know the dirty details, but let's just say that that $8 burrito cost me more in time spent running to the bathroom than anything else. A lesson learned here, don't buy burritos from a gas station. Instead, buy them from the woman selling them out of the trunk of her car. Be sure to check out my next video and don't forget to subscribe.